you typically wake up on weekends? I invite you to type in the chat box to let us know what time do you typically wake up on weekends? Right, we shall see who wakes up the latest on weekends, okay? Well, 6 a.m., 1 p.m., that's how they gone, right? 10, 30, 12 p.m., or another half day gone. <laughs> yeah, just like every day. Well, I see a lot of people waking up very early in the morning, even on a weekend. Well, five, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty, okay? Now, thank you. Thank you for your response, right? Now, I'd like to do a quick survey here to understand all of you a bit better, okay? So if you are someone who catches up on your sleep as much as you can on weekends, type one. And if you're those, you know, who sleeps very little on weekend so that you can do a lot more things and make your weekend feels longer, type two. So let me see whether are you a one or a two. Well, quite a good mix I see from the response. Yeah, yeah, quite a, really, really quite a good mix. I think most people, that depends, okay. A lot of you sleep very little so that you can make a weekend feel longer, right? <laughs> Okay, so regardless, right, whether your answer is a one or a two, I think you will agree with me that our lifestyle is really very hectic, right? And we're constantly on high stress, always rushing for time, working long hours, you know, lack of sleep and eating on the run. So this is what we call the modern lifestyle, which is indeed really causing a lot of negative impact on our body, throwing our body chemistry out of sync. So tonight, I'm sure you are here because you want to know how to achieve better health and how to reduce the destruction of modern lifestyle on our body. So you guys are really in for a treat tonight because we have invited a very knowledgeable speaker who was from the medical field to share the importance of metabolic health. So prior to Newskin, she was a senior clinical research nurse manager. After being a beneficiary of our amazing New Skin HLOC products, she started to share the benefits to help more people around her to also improve their health. And tonight, she will be able to share with us insights on why metabolic health is so important and how it will affect our lives. So ladies and gentlemen, would you like to hear directly from a medical professional? Yeah, let's put your cyber class and welcome Miss Belinda Mark. Hello, hello everybody, hello. Hello everybody, thank you. Thank you, Shining, and good evening, everybody. How is everyone doing out there? Yeah, I'm very, very happy to see all of you here tonight. Wow, so many responses. I'm very, very happy to see all of you here. And of course, no, just now as what Shining mentioned, today is Friday, and uh, I'm very honored, you know, because you choose this Friday night to spend your night with me here. Yeah, happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday. Now, I'm very, very pretty sure, you know, uh, this poster actually attracted you to lock in. Am I ready to say that? Right, I'm very sure, yeah? It's not my photo that attracted you, but it's a topic, right? Yeah, I believe this topic, why metabolic health matters. And that is the main reason why you are here. Correct? <laughs> Correct or not? Now, because... You know, you, you know this, this topic, metabolic health, I believe that this topic, not many people heard of. You know, many of us, you know, maybe we have not heard of this, what metabolic health, right? Now, it's like, you know, you know, yet you don't know. Well, tonight, whether you know or you don't know about uh, metabolic health, now this metabolic health really matters to all of us, all right? Now, today, tonight, you know, I'm going to review some of these informations to all of you. Now, before I begin, please allow me to introduce myself, okay? All right, yeah. Now, I'm Belinda. I am actually currently in Singapore, and I graduated as a staff nurse. Now, how many of how, how many of you here are nurses or doctors? Give me a high five. Give me a high five if you are. All right, I know some of you are. Well, you know, as a staff nurse, wow, I saw, I saw the, the nurses here. Oh, I saw Dr. Sun Yi, yeah. Now, before I begin, uh, uh, now, after, after, you know, I graduated as a staff nurse, I ventured into clinical research where I spent my last 12 years doing clinical research, uh, especially in uh, liver diseases. I don't know whether you heard about hepatitis B, hepatitis C, fatty liver, liver failure, liver cancer, so on and so forth. Anything to do with liver, yeah, I did research on that for my, for 12 years, good old 12 years, all right? Now, now, what is it going to do? I ask, you know, what is it going to do with metabolic health? You know, uh, what do you think? 
Hold this up at the morning hell, right? Now I remember, you know, last time I remember when I run the fatty liver studies, you know, fatty liver, then I was very, very shocked, you know. One in three adults actually got fatty liver. One in three, you know. And uh, one in 10 children got fatty liver. Now, meaning to say that, you know, three of us here tonight, all of us are adult, right? Now, three of us here tonight, one has fatty liver. I know, I know, I know if you think that, ah, I'm not the one, huh? I'm not the one, I'm safe, you know, I'm not the one. Right, we got so tuned one, right, huh? You say that three, three, uh, among the three, one for fatty liver, I'm not the one, okay, maybe the next two are fatty liver. Now, when we go for ultrasound, especially ultrasound liver, then you will know. Now, sometimes, you know, when we did, uh, when we did a blood test, and then we can you we can see those no, blood tests sometimes no liver panel especially we see ALT AST that is a liver enzyme and you see some rays you know elevated abnormal that is a predictor of where you might have fatty liver okay now for your information ah huh, fatty liver is one of the metabolic health problem okay all right so that is the main reason why this metabolic health topic all right it actually get into my attention all right so. When we talk about metabolic health, uh, when we talk about metabolic health, what it come to your mind? What come to your mind? Um, tell me, response to me. When we talk about metabolic health, what come to your mind? Or maybe you know about metabolism, metabolic health, what comes to your mind? Wait, <laughs> yes, lose weight, right? You want to burn fat, yeah, burn calories. So that is what we know about metabolic. Right now, metabolism. Now, for your information, okay, metabolism is a chemical reaction in your body cell. All right, it's a chemical reaction that change the food into energy. That is metabolism. So many people, you know, metabolism is you know we want to increase this so that you know we change our food, the food that we eat, so that it burn off into energy. Right now, uh, uh, this, this chemical process is very very important, and it go on and on and on, especially when you're you're still breathing when your heart is still pumping, right? All your organs are functioning and we need this chemical process in order to keep us alive, okay? So that is very, very important. We, our body needs this energy in day-to-day -day life, okay? But, but now what a lot of people say, you know, what the, when we heard about metabolism or, or metabolic, you know, we always, we always say, you know, if you want to lose weight, you know, we need to increase our metabolism. Correct, correct. You hear that, right? And many of us run into exercise, you know, thinking, ah, oh, that's the way to boost our metabolism. <laughs> All right. So how many of you, you know, you are somewhat like that? Or maybe you heard of this, you know, as we get older, our metabolic rate slow down. Have or not? And we started to put on weight as we get older. Yes, yes. How many of you know what I'm talking? Right. Now, side track back, huh? side track, huh? Now, make a guess. At what age, you know, when we say that, you no, know, as we get older, we put on weight. Now, make a guess. At what age do you think you start to put on weight? Tell me, tell me. At what age you think you start to put on weight? Come on, 40, 30, 30, 30, 30 plus, 20, 23. Yeah, in actual fact, you know, we started, oh, wow, well, someone said 18. Wow. <laughs> now, in actual fact, uh, by statistics, okay, not me, not by me, by statistics, it shows that, you know, we started to put on weight at the age of 20. So you realize when you are a teenager, you know, some of us, we eat and eat and eat, eat, we also don't put on weight. But the moment we start to come out to work, and then we started to see our waistline grow and grow and grow, right? So generally, we started to put on weight at the age of 20, and then it will go on and on and on and on while it peaked at 40. Just now I saw some answer, you know, we put on weight drastically after 40 years, after 40 years old, all right? And it go on and on and on, it never stop, okay? It stop at what age? 60. So sometimes when you realize that, you know, you, those old people hardly put on weight, right? After 60, you know, 70s, our grandparents or even our parents, you know, they hardly put on weight because they started to lose weight and they, after 60 years old. So please, huh? please, huh? <laughs> don't wait until 60 years old. Said, wow. Okay, now generally our biological clock, you know, we gain one to two kg per year. That is general, general, not, not I say, but it's by statistics. And uh, that's why, you know, most of us, uh, we started to realize that if we put on one kg, two kg, without us knowing, right? How many of you understand what I mean? 
right? Now, you may think, you know, or somebody say, yeah, I'm not la, Belinda, you say that, you know, we put on weight. I am the slim and skinny one. Have a look. Some of us are really, you know, some of us in this house tonight, all right, I'm sure, you know, you are slim and skinny, right? You eat and eat and eat. Also, don't put on weight and make all of us, you know, super jealous on you, right? I'm sorry to say, all right, skinny or slim doesn't make you doesn't mean that you're metabolically healthy. Okay, sorry, uh, not I say one. Uh, I mean, I can prove to you later. Okay, and many also, many, many, many people also think that, you know, oh, I need to have high metabolism. You see the scales, right? We need to have high metabolism. No, the higher, the better. So we want to boost our metabolism higher. Okay, now I'm not going to touch on this area. Okay, this is totally different area. Now, what I'm saying is, metabolically healthy all right now have you seen someone uh, like theoretically they are healthy like you know they are actually they go exercise you know they they, they really pump your know, bodybuilder right they theoretically they are healthy because you no know, exercise can boost metabolism right okay right now but do you know some of them actually have high blood pressure high cholesterol diabetes even they are very muscular have you seen some of them say right Huh? They're so muscular, and yet they have all these metabolic, uh, metabolic diseases, okay? Now, also, also, now the third one, you know, we are in the modern lifestyle right now, correct? Now, you and me in the modern, right, like modern lifestyle, as long as we are in. Now, we have deadlines to meet, you know, we have bills to clear every month, you know, we have lots and lots of emails to clear. I'm sorry to say that as long as you have all these problems surrounding you, surrounding your lifestyle, you are not metabolically healthy, all right? Are you guys still with me or scared already? <laughs> Sorry to scare you, but I just want to give you this piece of information, okay? Now, let me show you this now. Metabolic health right, is more than going to the gym and increase your metabolism, okay? Now, we are very clear on that, right? right? Metabolic health is more than increase, you know, our exercise to faster convert our food into energy. It's more than that. Now, metabolic health, what is actually metabolic health? Now, metabolic health is actually our body biochemistry in a metabolic network. You see, all these are network, all right? And that actually impact, impact our key indicator, like our, you know, in this graph, it shows, you know, uh, like our heart functions, our mood, you know, our sugar level, blood sugar level, our blood cholesterol and triglyceride, you know, our body inflammations, that also in the form of metabolic health, all right? Blood pressure as well, right? Oh yeah, body fat. Now that, that is what a lot of people understand, right? Increase, uh, increase metabolic health in order to, to, to reduce body fat. Now, you know, this is, this is a metabolic network, all right? Not only that, we have blood circulation, also that also in the loop of your metabolic health, all right, and the muscle mass as well, all right? Insulin sensitivity, this is a huge topic, which, uh, if I talk, never ending one, all right? Insulin sensitivity is very, very important as well. So um, I'm going to touch on that later on. And bone density as well. Yes, you hear me correctly. I say bone density is also part of your metabolic network and including your cell hydrations, like how, you know, point, point, all these are cell hydrations, huh? et cetera, and et cetera. It encompasses many, many areas in our body. So this metabolic network is a very complicated, very complex system in our body that influence our overall health and our, our overall well-being. All right. So that you know it, 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 it actually indicates whether how well your body functions. Now, sad to say, uh, believe me or not, uh, there is only a small percentage of people here are metabolically healthy. Right. The rest of us, not healthy. La. Oh, and uh, when you're not healthy, meaning you are hit by, you know, all these health problems, like, all high blood pressure, diabetes, so on and so forth. Now, this small percentage means what? Meaning one in eight, meaning eight of us here, you know, every eight of us, only one is metabolically healthy. And the rest of us, seven, macam macam health problem also have. <laughs> okay. Now, what is this macam macam health problem? Lipids problem. You know, the fat problem in your blood vessel, you right? Uh, diabetes, you know, you have fatty liver, high blood pressure, obese, heart diseases, so on and so forth. The list go on. I don't want to scare you. I just put this six here, which in, it, it affects a lot of people. So I the list actually go on. 
Now, frankly speaking, when you look at this, all right, we had we had not got this problem before, right? When we are young, we got this tummy bulging out. Don't have now as we get older. Wow, the tummy need extra space, you know, overflowing some more. You know, our pants can't even tuck in. How many of you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Yeah, correct. Now, actually, what went wrong here? You know, as we get older, what went wrong? The culprit, the real culprit is really our metabolic health. And that's why, you know, tonight, you know, we are on this topic, our metabolic health matters to all of us, right? Do you realize uh, something very ironical? Do you realize when we were young, when we don't know anything about health, we don't know anything about diseases, especially when we're young, uh -huh. yeah, we don't have any health issues. But when we get older and we have all the knowledge about health, anything under the sun you also know because we have Google, everything you can ask, and yet we have all these problems. Ironical, right? Right? So what is this metabolic health actually? Sounds familiar, yet not familiar, right? Now we know. Metabolic health and metabolism is not the same thing, okay? Metabolism is the conversion of food into energy and metabolic health is a measurement on how well your body biochemistry process are functioning. It's like, you know, a, a, you, it's like, you know, when we bake cake, right? When we bake cake, we need a lot of ingredients. Same thing, our body also make up of a lot, a lot of ingredients. Now, when we bake cake, we need things like flour, we need eggs, we need baking powder, right? As if I know how to bake cake like that. <laughs> we need sugar, we need butter. Now, we cannot have more butter, less sugar. You know, we need something like balance. When we have all these ingredients, we need to balance it in order to make the perfect cake. Am I right? Right? Uh, those people who are very good in baking, right? Am I right to say that? So you need balancing. We cannot have too much egg. We cannot have too much flour. We cannot have less egg as well. All right, likewise, in our body, we need to balance our biochemistry, balance our biochemical in order for our body to function well, okay? Now, when our body chemical is not functioning well, what will happen? You know, you get sick very easily. When your body biochemical, you know, or rather your, you are metabolically not healthy, all right, you get sick very, very easily. And some of us, maybe we have water retention. You always realize that, hey, how come I'm very puffy? I have water retention. That is That already tell you that your metabolic is not working well, all right? Your biochemistry process is imbalanced, all right? Or some some of us, you know, we find that, hey, how come recently, like, like, like some of us, when I mentioned, you know, as we get older, we gain weight easily, you know? Even when we don't, we, we drink water, also put on weight, or we, we breathe in, also put on weight. That is meaning that, you know, our biochemistry is imbalanced, meaning that metabolic is not healthy, okay? And maybe you get tired easily, even, you know, after you wake up or have nap, you also feel, are you always still tired? Like, not enough sleep like that, all right? Yawn in the meeting, you know, every day, you know. Even though you have, you know, full 10 hours sleep, you also keep yawning, all right? Feel very, very tired easily. Or loss of hair, nails brittle, that is also a sign of your metabolic not healthy, my friend. Okay, now cold hand, cold feet, even in this hot weather, like, you know, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, we are really, really hot. We are like, you know, 35, 34 degrees Celsius every day. And yet we need to wear socks to bed. You always have cold hand, cold feet. Or some of us, you know, we have neck stiffness, you know, always go for massage in order to loosen up. That is also a sign of your metabolic not healthy anymore. All right, some of us may experience some sensitive skin, eczema suddenly flare up. When you are young, you know, at a younger age, you don't have this eczema problem, but suddenly cold, you are eat one prawn, then whole body rashes. Have? Yeah, I know some of us are like that, or easily get redness on the skin, allergy, right? Oh, no way, how come your allergy to, to don't know what, don't know, dust, whatever you call it, all right? And some of us, you know, we have constipation. Ah, constipation is one of the metabolic health problem, okay? Imbalance, imbalance, your body imbalance, okay? Indigestion as well, bloating. After food, you always feel bloating. Okay? That is also a sign for you to take note. Your metabolic health matters, okay? And I always have headache, moody, giddy. All these are signs to tell you something is not okay. And maybe some of us, we have ulcer in the mouth. Now, that is not metabolic healthy anymore. All right, now the key here is, the key here is we don't think this is a sickness. 
this is not an illness, this is not a diagnosis. And we won't go and see doctor for ulcer. You go and see doctor, they don't have, right? Right? Your cold, your, your stiffness on that, you don't go and see doctor, you go massage, right? Your brittle nail, you go pedicure, pedicure. You don't go and see doctor because you don't think this is a problem. Actually, it's already a sign for you to take note, okay? And um, now, after all this list, uh, how many of you at least have one? No need to tell me, okay? How many of you? If you have one, I don't know whether I should congratulate you or not because you are in a current lifestyle. <laughs> like what Shiny does not say, you know, we are in a current lifestyle. How, how many of us, you know, we wake up super early and we, we sleep very, very late. This is our current lifestyle now, all right? So, and if, as long as you are current lifestyle, we are all subject to metabolic syndrome, okay? Because our lifestyle has damaged our health, all right? Now, especially, you know, especially when we come to this area, you know, our current environment, our lifestyle, everyone having stress, right? You agree or not? Every one of us having stress. I am, I am sharing this. I also feel stress. All right? You work, also stress. No work, also stress. When you stay at home, work from home, also stress. Agree? Agree me? Agree? Now, do you agree that kids having exam, parents and kids also stress? <laughs> parents like this stress. Yeah? Very stress, also super stress, right? And uh, the kids, uh, do you know why they go and play especially they go playground and play or they go to the beach and play, they also stress. Why? Sometimes the beach, you know, the playground, too many people, too, too many kids around, they cannot get their swing, they get stressed. Or they got no friend to play with, they also stress. Agree? So eh, the kids, even at a young age, they also subject to stress. Now, okay, the young, the, uh, the, 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 the older one, the older kids, they play computer game, right? Why? You think, why really stress play computer game? I tell you, my son also play computer game. He win, he also stress. Okay? He lose, laggy stress. So all these are stressful, man. Yes, yeah, stressful lifestyle. Okay? And the key is nobody, nobody can run away from body stress. And if you don't handle all this stress, it will definitely lead to what? High blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, fatty liver, you know, heart diseases, obesity in the long run. Agree with me or not? Right? No one can run away from this stress. So therefore, we seriously need a solutions to handle this. Agree? Right? That is why, you know, our metabolic health matters to us in the current lifestyle. Okay. Now, maybe, maybe you think that I, yeah, I can handle stress very well. All right? Now, how many of you love food? How many of you are foodie here? When we see KFC, when we see satay, laksa, nasi lemak, prata, or roti canai, Wow, oh, so many good food out there, right? How can we don't eat? Are you so guilty if we don't eat, right? Especially, you know, the border open, we go Malaysia, we go Indonesia, are you how not to eat, right? Now, let me tell you, nice food is always not healthy and it definitely affects our health. Agree? Now, if when it affects our health, then... Now, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high, uh, high blood sugar level, which that it is, you know, fatty liver, obesity, heart disease, all knocking at your door. You welcome them into your life, all right? And no one can run away from this food, right? Uh, you can run away, man. I cannot, you know. So therefore, I think we seriously need the solutions to handle this a week. Uh, that is why today's topic is very, very important. Our metabolic health really, really matters now. Okay, now enough or not, not enough. Maybe, you know, you can handle stress very well or you can control yourself in front of KFC, in front of something, you can control yourself. But how many of you know exercise is very important for health? You know, right? And how many of you know if you lack of exercise, it's going to lead you to high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, fatty liver, heart diseases, and so on and so forth? You know all this, right? Now, let me ask you, how many of you exercise every day? I'm serious, I mean every day. It's not like three times per week exercise. It's called exercise. It's not. Seriously, when you want to keep your metabolic healthy, we need exercise every day, at least 40 minutes. You know, that is by research. I'm not Belinda saying it's by research. All right, I mean seriously. Huh? Now, how many people know, right? You know, but the thing is, but huh, I know exercise is very important. I know, I know I need tomorrow. Tomorrow, I know I start exercise tomorrow. Or maybe some of us we say that I uh, don't have time. We got time. No, if I got time, I go and sleep already. Last time, also the same, you know, hectic lifestyle, you know, every day go to office, come back, got kids to take care, got housework to do. Oh, where got time to go exercise? If got time, I better sleep. 
Right, sleep also very important. I always cycle myself last time, right? So modern lifestyle, we are we don't have time for exercise, or maybe some of us we have ex we have time for exercise, but we don't like to sweat, we don't like exercise. And some of us really want to go exercise, but not fit for exercise. You have fractured here, you know, you have injured your spine, fractured your ankle, you know, how to go exercise, right? Cannot exercise, then how? Not healthy or <laughs> not. So that is why our metabolic health really matters. I'm serious, my friend. Okay, now metabolic health is not just one stop like that. It is uh, like a report card, right? It's like a report card, like, oh, oh no, no, like, like that, the, this spectrum, right? So metabolic health is like a spectrum, it's like a report card. And we have all these subjects listed down there, like regular exercise, you know, you have healthy diet, you know, healthy weight, you know, you have enough or, or, or adequate sleep, you know, you eat lots of fruits and vegetables, you have low stress, as if you really are low stress, and then you need to pass all these subjects in order to score well in your metabolic health, in this subject, all right? You need to score well in order to, to have overall health. But as usual, uh, we don't score well in every subject. Some of the subjects we can score A, some B, like, you know, or maybe you have enough sleep, all right? And yet, you know, you have plenty of sleep, you know, you, you, you have eight hours of sleep every day, but yet you don't like to eat fruits and vegetables. Then, bang, you know, fruits and vegetables, you become C. So, in general, we have all these subjects that we it, it affect our metabolic health. Some we score A, some we B, and some we C. Now, if, if we score C, meaning it's not good already, huh? but unfortunately, Unfortunately, most of us, we belong to C. We score C most of the time because not your fault, it's our lifestyle fault. It is our lifestyle. Now, let me tell you why. Now, in the past, right, in the past, we don't have handphone, agree? <laughs> we don't have handphone, right? Now, 20 years ago, you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, we don't have handphone. So our Apong, Ama, our grandfather don't have all this handphone problem, all right? And we sleep very early. Correct. Now what happened? Our lifestyle, we got handphone. Not only handphone, we have iPad, we have all the tablet, right? We don't sleep early. We watch YouTube. So many good programs in next week, right? So we, we need to watch, you know, got series to catch. You know, we want to play Facebook, IG. You know, we need to clock, ma. We need to see what's my friend doing ma, before we sleep, right? So we watch and watch without us knowing, ah, yeah, 1 a.m. in the morning already. Then, ah, yeah, I'm very tired and you want to sleep. Guilty, guilty for this. Ah, see, not your fault. It's our lifestyle fault, all right? Now, in the past, all right, so therefore, we, 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 we don't have enough sleep nowadays. Even for youngsters as well, they play games like play overnight, right? Now, also in the past, let's say, you know, fruits and vegetables cooking our, our diet. In the past, we cook everything in original taste. Right, we have a little bit of salt, oil, and garlic. Oh, very nice already, huh? Our grandmother cooking very nice already. Right, but now what happened? When you go into the kitchen, you go put this ingredient I don't have. You go and buy the instant paste, you know, tom yum paste, la, mala paste, la. You put everything in and then you put all the paste. That's it. Huh? Even cook curry also very simple. Now we buy the paste and then that's it. Correct? Now all these paste actually make our lifestyle score C, you know. Oh, so hardly cook school A anymore. All right, yeah, MSG as well, correct. All right, so, do, so 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 you think we seriously, uh, seriously, uh, do you think that you know we need a solution for our current lifestyle now? Our metabolic health really, really very matters now, you know. Okay, now with today, today, if there is a product, right, if there's a product and uh, is able to handle all these problems I mentioned just now, all the metabolic health problem, all the, you know, the stress, like how stressful you are, or in front of good food, you know, you cannot resist, you don't like exercise. Now, if today it is a product, very safe supplement, able to handle all these problems, will you believe me? Right? Or any of your family members having, you know, having the problem like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, you know, fatty liver, heart disease, so on and so forth. Do you think they want to know? I know many of us in this Zoom today, you know I'm talking, right? Right, you saw that purple, purple color supplement, right? Yeah, it is a new product called Reset. And uh, how many of you are taking Reset now? Can you type R, R in the chat box? Right, I know, I know a lot of you, oh wow, so many are. Yeah, I know many, many of us are taking it right now. Congratulations, congratulations. Why? Because you are, you, have you found the solutions for all this metabolic health problem, all right? Now, 
please allow me to share with you this important, this exciting news. All right. Now, this reset is not just a product, but it's a technology. It is a technology that target at the root problem, which is called the age lock. Now, meaning to say that we can go right down to the root problem, which cause the metabolic diseases. Now, look at this picture. Look at these two men. You know, you see these two men. All right. And uh, can you see they are, what are they doing? They are mopping the floor, right? Right. They are mopping the floor now. What is the problem here? They mop the floor. Do you think they can dry the floor? Do you think they keep mopping, mopping, mopping? They can dry the floor? Cannot, right? You see carefully. You see carefully. What's the problem? The problem is the tap water. The tap is not off. Now, if you, if, if, if you were the, the person there, right? What would you do? We got off the tap, right? Correct or not? Not just mop the floor blindly, keep on hoping that after you mop the floor, the floor will get dry. Now, you look at this picture carefully again. Can you see there are doctors? Sorry, uh, if there's doctors in this house, I'm sorry, right? Because I really want to point this thing out, you know, because a lot of time when we go and see the doctor, we want to solve our high blood pressure, we want to solve our diabetes, sugar level very high. The doctor giving you all these treatments are just mopping the floor. The root problem is still ongoing. So therefore, we need to take all this medicine for life. You need to mop the floor for life. Right now, through this technology, through this age lock technology, meaning to say that we are able to find the tap, right? Where are the switch? We are able to find the tap, identify it, where's the location, we are able to off it so that you know if you continue to take whatever treatments that the doctor gives you, you are able to solve the problem because we already identify where's the problem. How many of you know what I'm talking? You know what I'm talking, right? Yeah. So now through this age lock technology, the scientists actually found the combinations of formula. Now this formula is very, very important. This formula is the optimal in targeting the root problem of metabolic health. It is called Reset, like, like what this bottle and many of us are taking it right now. Right. It is a new product. It's very, very safe and able to handle all the metabolic health problem. Okay. Now, you may say, ah, may, uh, 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 you know, you may say, well, may, may, uh, I'm taking reset. You know, some of us, we are still new to this, this, this reset. You may ask, hey, what, what does it contain? Why so special? You know, it's like, you know, what Belinda say, like, like so, 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 so miracle like that, you know, what can handle all these problems? Yes, it is true. It is a simple black currant, blueberry and black rice. Ha, you may think that, hey, yeah, so simple, you can go to the supermarket eat. Now, important key is, it's not only this ingredient. Now, in any form, because I'm doing clinical research for the past 12 years, I do mainly research on drugs. Now, the key is not the ingredient. It's not the formula, but the key is the dose. You need to get the correct dose in order to get the benefit of the whatever treatment. Huh? All right. Now, the important thing is not just, oh, the ingredient is black currant, be very, ah, it's so easy, you can buy from supermarket, black rice or more, okay? Now, the key is, all these ingredients, the, the benefit, now in order to produce health benefit, we need to hit 215 mg of endocyanin. Now, is the endocyanin in this food that is able to give us the health benefit? Now, now for us, in order to get 215 mg of endocyanin, I tell you, it's very, very impossible to get it in our daily life. Now, let me give an example. Now, how many of you know purple potato? Right, I love potato. I love purple potato, especially you know from Japanese potato. Right, uh, Vietnam also got potato, purple potato, and I, I love potato. But the thing is, average, uh, just this size of potato. All right, it gives about 25, 20 to twenty five gram of endocyanin. Now, if today you need two hundred and fifteen mg of endocyanin, all right, how many potato you need to eat? Eleven. Can you swallow 11 potato? In order to get to 1,5 mg of endocyanin, you need to eat 11 potato. Now, before you can, you know, handle your blood sugar, before you can handle your, your triglyceride or blood pressure, I tell you, your blood sugar will shoot up because it's too much calorie here, right? You are going to put on weight instead of burn your calorie, okay? So it's, it, it's not in the right mind to eat 11 potato every single day, you know? 
笑啊 ，you say Belinda， you 笑啊 ，eleven potato， it's impossible。No， in our average lifestyle， we are not able <laughs> potato man。Yeah， if you continue to eat potato like that， you become potato man， right？ No， in our in our normal lifestyle， it's impossible to reach 215 mg of endosine。All right. Now let me show you this very very interesting. I I love this. I love this study. All right. Now this is a heat map. All right. The heat map of a human body. Now every single column here represent different. Ah,、uh, every single you know this 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 column row. This row <laughs> represent different function. There are four areas. We have livers. We have fat tissues. We have muscles, and we have pancreas. Now purple color over here. This is heat map. All right. Now purple color means the energy go up. Which is active lah, alright. Now orange, orange color means energy down, which is inactive, less active. Okay. Now this heat map is for a person who is inactive, alright, who is sitting down, um, no exercise, like like some of us lah. How we don't have exercise, we love to eat food, we have high stress at work, you know. Most of us belongs to this category, alright. Now this group is every day they do exercise, very very healthy. You know, they they call it, they, this is metabolically healthy. All right now, and、uh, let's see what happen. You know when a person who is inactive, right, they sit whole day, and yet you know they take reset. That's not what I mentioned. You no, know, the new product reset. Now they don't exercise, and yet it's taking reset. Now the heat map. Look at this heat map. Very interesting. The heat map actually expressed in such a way that it is quite similar to the person who is very very active, who has exercised. No, meaning to say that you know what does that mean? You know what does this heat map mean? Meaning to say that if you don't exercise, your body is behaving like someone who is having exercise. Isn't that good news to all of us? We don't like exercise. We have no time for exercise, and yet you know we are able to reach the state that you know we are having exercise every day if we have reset. Right now, look at this liver. Let's say ah,、uh, this liver ah,、uh, at this liver, you see this. Accumulation, a lipid accumulation, accumulations in this in the in the liver lah.、Huh? Now the person who doesn't exercise, the energy is up, the fat go up, the fat accumulations go up. All right. Now the person who is having exercise, the fat accumulations go down. You see that? All right. Now the person who is not having exercise and have taking reset, meaning you know it same thing, the fat actually go down. So that means that. Fatty liver will see drastic improvement with this formula. With this formula, okay, interesting, right? Whoa, I'm very very excited. You know, when I see the when I first see this, I get so excited. Then I go and read and read and read because last time I do clinical research, I only believe in evidence base. I don't anyhow listen to what people say. All right, now another thing I want to show you is this: what happened to this fat tissue? All right, the fat tissue in this person, you know, who has regular exercise, the fat tissue actually go down. Can you see uh, uh, the the、uh, no, the the fat tissue, right? The insulin sensitivity actually go up, right? In the insulin sensitivity means ah,、uh, your body is no longer as sensitive as before if you don't do exercise. I mean, over here lah, ha.、Huh? We we use this example. Your body doesn't recognize your insulin level in your body, so keep on produce insulin. Keep on produce insulin. You eat a little bit, keep on produce because the body cannot cannot recognize. And without insulin, you know, you cannot bring down the glucose level. So therefore, your body keep on producing without you knowing because they cannot detect. Your body cannot detect insulin. So the person who have exercised, right, the insulin sensitivity go up, meaning that body a little bit of insulin, ha, can already this. This amount of insulin、uh, can bring down the can convert the food into energy. I mean, in in layman term lah, you know, so that you are able to understand better. Okay, so meaning to say that you know, your body is more sensitive to insulin when you know, and it require a little bit of amount of insulin able to lower down your blood sugar level. You know, with this, even though you don't do exercise, and we reset, you are able to reach the state that as if you are having exercise. Get it? A bit chain, right? Huh? Now let's look at this muscle. What happened to your muscle tissue? Now muscle tissue also working like somebody who has regular exercise. Your glucose uptake. You look at this glucose uptake for those people who are not having exercise. Never uptake the glucose. You no, know, they cannot convert the, the the sugar into energy. Now for those who are having exercise, well, a bit of you know put in, well, burn off,、uh, convert into energy. That is the meaning here, lah.、Huh? All right. So. Uh, that that is where we re usually refer to you know increased metabolism. This is the part. This is the part. No, so 
when your glucose uptake is better, it actually enhances the muscle tissue to convert the food into energy. Look at this amazing result right now. Pancreas as well, the last, last row here. The pancreas is working like somebody who is having regular exercise as well, you know, for those people who are not having exercise and yet taking reset. Now, meaning that it better balance the insulin level in your body. A little bit of insulin is good enough already. So pancreas work as this. You know, pancreas is the one who, who produces insulin. So they realize that, oh, with this regular, you know, with this reset, even though no exercise, the insulin level is enough already to help to maintain your blood lipid which is your cholesterol and triglyceride, right? So therefore, when you hear many people having very, very good testimony, it's because of that. Okay, now let me show you this very interesting data. This is, this is a research done in healthy volunteer. Healthy yet obese. Huh? <laughs> healthy yet obese. Now, there are 46 of them. All right, this is quite a number of, of research done. The early phase, all right? It's actually eight-week open-label clinical studies. Oh, this, this actually excites me a lot. Now, this study shows what? This study shows, you know, you know, look at this. Um, this are uh, the bad bacteria, you know, the Firmicutes and the endo etinobacteria. Now, these are the bad guy, bad guy. Okay. Now, generally, our our in our gut, we have more bad bacteria than good one. Now, this bacteria, this uh, bacteria that bacteria that this, all right, it is a good bacteria. Now, what we want to achieve is to balance good and bad bacteria, and we want good bacteria more. Okay. Now, this is this is what you know. Eight week studies on uh, uh, obese patient, uh, obese patient. It's not patient, obese individual. They took eight weeks of endocyanin blend, uh, endocyanin blend, and they measure the gut bacteria, and they realize this eight week of. This, this endocyanin formula, which is reset, they actually balance the good bacteria more so that you don't have all these gut, gut issues. Now, when you don't have gut issues, what happened to your gut? What happened to you? You will, you will see that your gut wow, will go to food. Very good. No more constipation. Just some, remember when I mentioned that, you know, your when, when you have constipation, your metabolic is not working well. Yeah. So when you have gut issue, you know, this, this is gut issue, all right? Now, you can sleep better, your poop better, you know, and your complexions get better. That is what happened to our Mr. Wee, all right? Because he took this reset and then, uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people are having this problem in the current society, in the current lifestyle. Modern lifestyle, we call it, all right? Now, another, another lady is called Serene. There's also no more constipation, especially ladies. We always, you know, we always have these issues with constipation, PMS constipation, after menses come also constipation. Don't know what happened now. So last time she can go toilet, Sari, go toilet only two times, two days go one time, <laughs> meaning alternate day go toilet. Now can you imagine how many, how many poops, how many shits are being stored in the in the colon, you know? Now, after this, you know, she can clear because good bacteria increase, it actually balanced the entire gut system and she can go poop every day. All right. And uh, not only that, you know, when your gut is healthy, everything you will realize that it becomes better. Now, for Sharon, she all the while, her menses is not regular. You know, irregular menses for many, many years. And, you know, we, she put on weight because hormone imbalance, that, so that's what the doctors say. All right. And she can hardly go to the toilet as well, you know, always constipation. But after taking this formula of endocyanin, 215 NG, which is what we call reset, and then she can go to the toilet every day. And the best part is her menses become normal. Every month, you know, in Chinese, we call Tai Yi Ma, right? Every month, this auntie must visit us. So it becomes normal. Amazing, right? You know, for us to, to have this regular menses, you need to spend how, how long and how much to see a gynae to regulate whatever hormone that is in balance. Amazing, right? Now, not only, you know, it actually helps in our gut health, our good and bad bacteria balancing. Now, it also helps in, in our, stabilize our glucose level. Right? Our glucose level, you know, as what I mentioned earlier, you know, when we have uh, metabolic health diseases, the diabetes is one of them, all right? That, uh, 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 our body cannot recognize insulin, right? Our body uh, uh, keep on producing uh, insulin. I was thinking that, hey, don't have enough insulin. Don't have, so keep on, keep on producing a lot, a lot of insulin in us and that makes make our body insensitive to insulin. 
Okay, now what happened for this study as well, right? Same group of people, we not only measure their gut health, their bacteria and bad bacteria, good bacteria and bad bacteria in them. The, 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 the scientists also measure their blood sugar. Right. Then they realize that, you know, as we, you know, sometimes when we eat, right, we like to eat. Uh, th th this is a group of people, all right, eight weeks of endocinin as well. And actually they realize that, you know, um, they give very high, the, the, the glucose level spike up, HbA1c spike up to about 13 to 14 millimole per liter. All right. Within an hour, within an hour after eating high fat diet, high high calorie diet. High calorie diet means more than 1,000 calorie in a meal, meaning that when we go Hai Ti Lao, when we go for a buffet, easily hit more than 1,000 to 1,000, all right? Even a Big Mac is about 1,002 to 1,005 calories just in a single meal. That is very, very high calorie, high fat diet. So imagine you eat that every single day and especially our youngsters like to eat this, right? One meal, Big Mac, Big Mac set, you know, Mac chicken set, or oh, we happily go for whatever gathering, we go high tea lao, we go for buffet, hey, there you go. Your insulin level, your, your sugar level should up sky high. Within an hour, it will go up. Now, what happens if, you know, normal people, uh, it will linger there, you know, linger in this area about, you know, seven, eight, seven and eight, you know, for the second hour, and then after that, it slowly go down. By fifth hour, then it will, it will back to normal. But with reset, now, can you, can you see that, you know, in the second, the first two hours, it actually back to normal already. Isn't that good news to everybody? No wonder we see so many people, blood sugar level increase. Yeah, we see a lot of this kind of testimony around, right? Right? Now, um, I, I, do, I do see a lot. This is my friend's brother. He has, um, he has this glucose uh, diabetes. Uh -huh. He has this diabetes for many years and on treatment. Now, after, you know, on this insulin injection for four years already, all right, and uh, after reset, you know, he started to take reset because the brother introduced to him and the glucose level, you know, he pricked himself every day, all right, he checked this, uh, the hypo count, all right, the glucose level actually from 9 to 2 to 7.9. That is a very significant drop because, remember, reset, it brings down the sugar level, HbA1c, within the first two hours. Well, that's really amazing, right? Okay, now not only that, we, all know, we also see, you know, lady as well. Now, this, this lady, she's 68 years old, you know, diabetes for more than 20 years. How many of us, we have family members having these issues as well? Right now, after reset, amazing, amazing result that her glucose level, you know, dropped from 14.2 to 6.3. This is amazing, right? And, you know, when the glucose level is up, you know, in the body, you know, we have this, you know, we are very scared of the toe, you know, clip our toenail and then, you know, gangrene and then we have to chop off the leg. You know, we see a lot of diabetes like that, right? Now, that is very dangerous because the wound cannot heal properly. So, too much sugar in the bloodstream, okay? Now, with, with that, you know, with, when, when her, her glucose level back to normal and up 6.3, lower already, her wound recover very fast. Her energy level improve and she get better sleep. Amazing, right? Wow, I, I, when I see this kind of testimony, I'm very, very excited. Now, Daniel as well, he's my friend. You know, he has this uh, diabetes. Now, he's on this treatment for four years as well. All right, and his HbA1c actually dropped from 6.6 .6 to 5.9. And guess what? The doctor see this result and asked him to stop medicine to stop his treatment. Why? Because this treatment is causing the eyes to get blind. Now, diabetes can cause blindness in the eye, in the retina. And yet, you know, with this medicine, actually, he hardly can see, you know, his eyesight actually affected already. So he's very, very happy the doctor stopped him from taking medicine because it's causing a lot of side effects as well. Right? So congratulations, Daniel, right, that he is having a better glucose level and no need to take medicine ready. Wow, so good, right? Well, this is like a miracle to him, okay? Now, same thing, you know, we see a lot of uh, ladies, especially during pregnancy, then the glucose level should up high. You know, we blame it to the baby like, because we need to eat a lot, but actually it's not true. When we have good metabolic health, your body is able to stabilize the biochemical, remember? No, me me metabolic health is actually a biochemistry. We need to balance this part in order to function well. So same thing for Nancy. You know, during pregnancy, at week 30, his glucose level actually showed up to 8.3. That is very high for a pregnant lady. All right. Now, after taking reset for about a month, all right, his glucose 
his 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 glucose level actually dropped from 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 that level into 5.5, which is normal range. Congratulations for a mummy, you know, mummy to be. All right, that is very, very good news. And when we have normal blood sugar level, your baby will be healthy. So it's very dangerous when you're, you're pregnant and sugar level very high. Okay, all right, so amazing, right? Amazing, right? So reset, you know, endosimin 1.5 MV a day actually can help to, you know, to, to, to stabilize the glucose level, the blood sugar level. All right, now not only that, it also helps in inflammatory balancing research. You know, we saw the, the amazing result on this plasma endotoxin. Now, and plasma endotoxin is a... Um, is, uh, Toxic, like, oh, it's a toxin, the, the things that we don't want, it's a component of the cell, you know, it's, it, 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 it's, it's a byproduct of a bad bacteria, you know, gram negative bacteria. Now, it is released into our gut, all right, when the cell wall, the gut wall being destroyed. That is that is the purpose of this plasma endotoxin, uh, endotoxin all right. Now, when you have a lot of endotoxin, plasma endotoxin in, the, in, in, in your body, you have inflammation inflammations in your body so you have sensitive gut you hear people saying oh my god sensitive bloating there are constipations you know discomfort uh, all these are because of plasma endotoxin too much in the body okay now when having two weeks of uh, two, eight weeks of reset two months right the plasma endotoxin uh, the plasma endotoxin actually reduced and which means that inflammatory marker also reduced tremendously all right, into this, these readings. So it's amazing, amazing. Now we turn, when we put that into a real human, what will happen to these people? Let's see, okay? Let's see what will happen when the information become balanced. Now, this is my friend's son, all right? 14 years old son, or love to play computer game. How many of your kids love to play computer game? They cannot live without the game, all right? Doesn't eat fruits and vegetables, okay? A lot of kids are like that now and always feel tired, need coffee to perk up and love fast food, McDonald's, KFC, you name it, they love it. Nowadays, the kids are like that. Right? What happened in the long run? We know it's going to hurt their health. We know it's going to hurt their metabolic health especially. Now, what happened for this 14-year-old boy, the mummy gave him, gave him this reset dose. All right? After reset, oh, very obvious, the pimples get better. Okay, sometimes we call it the acne, like our pimples face. Now, in this age 14, you know, a lot of a lot of people having pimples, right? So for this boy, his pimples get improved and he doesn't feel tired anymore because inflammation's balanced already. The, the gut's no more inflamed. All right. And the best part is he doesn't need coffee to box him anymore. All right, 14 years old boy, depending on coffee, how long is he going to depend on caffeine for the rest of his life? Wow, amazing, right? Now, this, this, he only take this about two weeks, three weeks. You can see drastic improvement, especially in the face of the pimples, okay? Wow, yeah, a lot of people also said unknowingly, we, we saw our skin improve, right? Okay, now, not only your skin improve, cellulite also improve. This is also my, one of my friends, Annie, right? Uh, she's only 33 years old, all right? You see his cellulite, you see her cellulite, right? Her cellulite, wow. Look at this. How many <laughs> you can actually look at your leg and see whether it's cellulite or not? <laughs> now, amazing result, right? I'm also very, very surprised. You know, not only fat in the liver. You know, remember just now I show you in the heat map the fat accumulation increase when you don't do exercise. When you do exercise, your fat accumulation reduces. That on that 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 shows in the liver. But again, this shows in the entire body under the skin, subcutaneous fat. Cellulite also reduce fat accumulation reduce it actually you know being erased off from your body. Wow, you she has you no know, any now you know after reset you know she has smoother skin you know you see her leg also beautiful leg now you know she, not only that her bowel movement also smoother she can sleep better no more headache menstrual cramp all this remember I told you metabolic. Health is not balanced. Your biochemical in your body not balanced. You have all these problems. Knock at your door, okay? Now, we have, we also have this uh uh Kui Chen, right? He always got severe headache. Now, how many of you always got headache, right? Headache is also tells you your body is in balance. Inflammation. Some part of your body is inflamed. You don't know where. You ask the doctor. Doctor cannot detect anywhere. But somehow you still have that symptom. How many of you? 
know what I'm saying, right? Sometimes we have this problem. Oh, when see doctor, doctor tell you no problem, scan already no problem, and yet your problem still still persists. Now this is what happened to Quijian, but after reset, she no longer having this kind of severe headache, and uh, she reduced her painkiller as well. Congratulations, yeah. So I really see that. Now this is amazing, and this is myself. Now, I very very bad uh, very costly because I was working as a nurse. I stand long hours with heels, so my leg really you know my my very costly is so oh, protruding out. You touch it, it's like you no know, lumpy one. But after reset. I can really feel that the lump, you know, the very close vein there, you know, in order to reduce this, we need to go for operations if you get what I mean. But, you know, the doctor also, last time I always have pain. It's like poking pain. It's like knife, you know, piercing through my, this area. But now I don't have these issues anymore. Really, I really want to thank this amazing, amazing reset. Okay, All right now. Another, 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 not only, you know, help to stabilize blood sugar level, our bad and good bacteria help in, in, in our inflammation balance. You know, we uh, reset also help to improve liver health. Now, this topic is really, really exciting because I work in the liver. I work, I, I, I work in liver project for 12 years in a hospital and I see lots of this kind of picture. This is a biopsy, liver biopsy. This is a healthy one where you don't see a lot of fat. Now, this is high fat diet. You see a lot, a lot of fat in the liver, right? That's, that's called fatty liver. Lah. Now, this one become normalized, all right? So what happened in this study? Same group of people, right? They feed on high fat diet, you know, more than 1,000 calorie diet. Now, immediately when they see the, 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 the tissue, the, the biopsy in the liver, they see that, wow, the fat, this high fat, high, uh, fatty liver, it looks like that. Now, with reset formula, all right, it actually can help to reduce the fat accumulations in the liver and therefore the liver with endocyanin, high fat diet with endocyanin, you know, HFA, it actually look quite similar to the one that having low fat diet, right, meaning the normal liver. So this is really a very good news for those people who have fatty liver. And therefore, you see this boy, 18 years old boy, Nixon, all right, he has fatty liver. Remember, I told you 10 in... One in 10 child, one in 10 children got fatty liver. Unfortunately, Nixon is one of them. He has fatty liver for don't know how many years, like all two years, all right? Meaning that 16 years old, he was diagnosed with fatty liver. And you see this ALT, AST, you know, is, is elevated. His, his enzyme is in, uh, his liver is inflamed by all the fat. And you look at the triglyceride, it's also increased. But with just one month of reset, everything, you know, normalized and the doctor, you know, in the hospital actually discharged him to be followed up in the polyclinic, which is mother case. La. So as a mother of this 18 years old boy, I can really feel the joy in her. Okay. And uh, we also have not only the kids, you know, we have this, this, um, this Mr. Pei, right? Pei Pei Kun Huat. He's one of my friends as well. All right. He, he initially, he took TR90. I know, I believe some of you, you know, what is TR90, right? And then at all, we reset an amazing result. You know, his, his liver improved. He has fatty liver as well. His liver enzyme from 54 down to normal, you know, 23, uh, uh, which is very, very good. And uh, his he is also getting good looking now, you know, from L size into S size. Amazing, amazing result, right? You know, with all this very, very amazing testimony, do you want to hear from real life? Do you want to hear from real life? I have two friends today. I arranged two friends who is going to share with you, right, real life, how they actually benefit from reset and how they actually gain back their health through reset. Are you ready to hear from them? Now, first, first one, I want to invite a gentleman all the way from Selangor, Malaysia. Now, amazing testimony. I want you to sit tight, you know, listen to what he's got to do, to, to, uh, he got to say with to you. All right. Now, uh, uh, without further ado, you know, let me pass the mic over to Selangor, all right, okay, uh, uh, Selangor, uh, uh, Malaysia, David. All right, mic over to you, David. Hello, Taja Wan Sang Hao. 我是David邦啊,来自血州万真,今年已经进入六十岁乐龄人士了,早在七年前呢,已经提早退休了,现在我有八个孙子了。我在二零零五年呢,患有那个... 
uh, and I've been taking medicine for the last 13 years. Uh, although I'm taking medicine, right? Actually, my blood glucose level uh, once hit 13.5 uh, level. So after I took reset, my blood uh, glucose level now is record low. And, and even when I took this uh, reading in hospital, it was only 5.8 only. And doctor also praised me. Wow, doctor was very happy and uh, also reduced my medicine by half. So I hope to maintain good result so that I can reduce my reliance you know, on medicine. So other than improving my blood sugar, uh, this reset also helped me to improve my bowel movement and improve my gut health. Thank you. Friend, 13 years, no joke, you know. How on earth a diabetes patients can hope for, you know, the no need to take medicine anymore? I believe David also wished that, you know, he no longer want to take, uh, no longer need to take medicine anymore. So remember just now when I say good technology, you know, a shock technology, it targeted the root problem. We off the tap, you know, we make sure the pancreas function to normal. We make sure the body is sensitive to insulin, no need so much insulin. The blood glucose level, a little bit of glucose level is able to, to convert, you know, to burn off the sugar so that, you know, the sugar level back to normal. It's amazing. HbA1c back to normalize is, is amazing. Right, thank you very much. Thank you, David, for your amazing testimony. Okay, now, I want to hear some more. Now, let me introduce, you know, David is 60 years old, you know, eight, you know, a grandpa of eight, you know, grandchildren, right? Now, let me introduce a lady who is a younger age in her 40s. And yet, you know, do you know somebody in their 40s, uh, you know, uh, 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 suffering, you know, not cholesterol high, high triglyceride, right? have or not? Now, this is a very, you know, a good friend of mine, all right, Celia, she is, uh, she's my, my ex-colleague, actually. I didn't know she has this problem. And uh, the moment later, when you see her testimony, I, I'm sure that is very wow to you because not only her, her blood result improved, you know, her look also improved. Okay, now, without further ado, I want to pass the mic over to Singapore. Celia, Celia, mic over to you, Celia. Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. My name is Celia. Uh, I'm my mid forties, and I'm also a mother of two boys. I'm currently working in a clinical research company as a startup manager. So, uh, previously, I have this uh, high cholesterol issue and uh, on medication. Uh, the medication helped to lower my cholesterol level, but then uh, not for my triglyceride level. So my triglyceride level was considered uh, quite high at a reading of 3.98 uh, at that time. So uh, doctor advised me to change my diet, do exercise, because uh, he said this can help me. But then um, I tried to do exercise, I tried to control my diet, but it doesn't lower my triglyceride level. So uh, unfortunately, we had to start on medication. So I, I took the medication, it lowered my triglyceride level, but not very significant, uh, very little. And the triglyceride level issue actually bothers me a lot because I find it so hard to lower it down. Until one day, uh, my friend introduced me to this uh, reset supplement. So I was really uh, amazed uh, when she shared with me the testimonies. Uh, and I began to start the reset in December uh, last year. So I, I went for my blood check uh, early this year, around March. And I was very, very amazed because my triglyceride level has dropped so much from 3.98 to 1, 1.0 something. This is so far the lowest reading I have ever had. And I was so happy uh, when I see the, the result. It's just by taking two soft gel every day, uh, it had helps to lower my triglyceride and also my cholesterol. And the other amazing things I discovered is that I no longer have this uh, bulging tummy. So I used to wear a straw large t-shirt to hide my tummy. But now my tummy is flattened and also torn up without doing any abdominal exercise. Isn't this amazing? So what I like to say is that uh, this is really a good supplement that I will definitely recommend for everyone because everybody need reset. So that's all for my sharing. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Celia. Wow, can you imagine, you know, when Celia told me, showed me her blood result, you know, the recently, the, you know, 1.03, the, the triglyceride. 
I was jumping, you know, I was really jumping because I know she has been suffering this for, for years and she has been seeking for solutions. I'm so happy, you know, that I'm able to help her. And when I asked her to hey, take one picture for me to see, I said, oh my goodness, you look at her face. You look at the, you know, the sweet song, the puffiness, the water retention, you see, you see what reset can, you know, when the biochemistry, you know, biochemical in your body get balanced, when your metabolic health get better, you see what happened to your body. Amazing, amazing changes. And uh, why I'm so excited about this reset is because, you know, reset is by new skin and it's actually very, very high quality of, uh, you know, we have six, they, they have six S control in very, very, it's like our ISO, lah, huh? so I won't go in deep detail, but what, what the main thing that actually attract me in, you know, this product haven't really launched yet, and yet it's already get the gold award and the medical grade supplement. I was very, very shocked because I've, I've been working in, in clinical research for many years. I've seen many, many drugs, many, many medicine you know, and so-called can treat this, can treat that. I've never seen any supplement. It belongs to a medical grade. And, uh, but this company, New Skin, can declare this is the medical grade, you know, medical and health category and get gold award. I think this is not joking. So this one really got to pay attention to this. All right, this is my advice. All right, okay. So now my friend, why metabolic health matters? Now in summary, just now we mentioned so many things, you know, if you cannot remember, all right, in summary, I summarize for you, okay? Take two capsule of reset per day. What will happen to you? Your antioxidant defense network will improve even without you knowing, all right? Now, your two capsule of reset per day, your information function and your immunity activities will be more balanced even, you know, you wake up the next day morning. And your vital organ, especially your heart, your liver, your lung, your colon, every single one of your vital organ, your important organ in your body, all right, will be healthier than yesterday. Isn't that good news? All right, two reset, two capsule reset per day. All right, your microbiome, you know, your, your good bacteria and bad bacteria will be balanced. Your gut health will be stronger than before amazing amazing and your blood sugar level what will happen to your blood sugar level will be healthier than anyone at your age if you have reset every day all right last but not least all right and this is just a summary okay just in case you cannot remember last but not least your core metabolism will be stronger and healthier even without going to the gym Oh, this one, I say one. <laughs> now, we know research can handle all these metabolic diseases like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, fatty liver, diabetes, heart diseases, obesity, so on and so forth. Now, you might ask, you know, how long do I need to take this reset? You know, like, for example, David, you say, if my glucose level back to normal already, what should I do? You know, try glycerate, right? not celiac, you know, try glycerate right back to normal already. What should I do? Should I stop reset? No. You, could, you, you, you stop your medicine, the doctor will definitely stop your treatment, okay? Let the doctor decide that. We, I, I don't want to advise you on that. Let the doctor advise you. Remember the two doctors mopping the floor? When the floor is dry, no more blood sugar, no extra blood sugar fourteen in your, in your bloodstream, no more extra triglyceride right, fourteen. then what do you do? Because we're already off the tap, right? right? So the doctor will stop mopping the floor, okay? But we continue to take reset. Now, as long as you want a healthy metabolism, you want a healthy metabolic health, we need reset. Reset is something like, you know, it reset us every day. It reboot our body's biochemistry every single day. Now, another illustration is like medicine, all these, you know, blood, high blood pressure medicine, high cholesterol medicine, you know, diabetes medicine. All these are like policemen. You have problem, you need to call police, 995. All right, if you have problem. So when the police settle everything already, the police don't stay with you, right? Okay, now reset is a supplement. Supplement is like a security guard. Now, even if you don't have the problem, even at your house don't have any test, the security guard is still clocking, you know, punching hours and working 24 hours to protect your compound, to protect your house, to protect your condo, to protect your common. So security guard, never off duty, but always 24 hours protecting you. Same thing, supplement is here to protect you 24 hours. All right. So continue to take, continue the reset to reset your biochemistry in your body. Okay. Policeman, medicine, one setter, let the doctor off it. Okay. 
right? Because there's no need to be on duty 24 hours. Okay, all right. Now, um, I'm, I'm actually in the medical field for the past 16 years, right? And uh, I haven't seen any of this kind of thing before. I know so many people suffering for high blood pressure, diabetes, high, high cholesterol, fatty liver, all this are looking for something, looking for solutions to solve their problem. They are sick and tired of their treatment. They, they how, how, how they long for you know, the doctor one day and say, hey, so and so, you know, you don't need to take medicine anymore. I know they have been waiting for this so-called miracle pill. Today, frankly speaking, to me, Mr. is really like a miracle pill. How so many years we have been looking for this. Am I right to say that, right? Now, furthermore, today, this metabolic health, it actually hit every single one of us. We cannot run away. So we have this so-called miracle pill, Belinda called it, all right? And we are able to reset and reboot our entire body system. All right, now, I'm very, very thankful today. I can share this piece of information, this piece of information to all of you. And I really hope, you know, reset, can reset and reboot your health. And I'm very, very sure you know, you will definitely discover the very best of yourself and stay safe and stay healthy, everybody. My name is Melinda. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Melinda, for your insightful sharing and also to our two amazing testimony sharers. And I trust that, you know, you now have a better understanding